if you follow us on Instagram, well, if you, first of all, if you don't follow us on Instagram, you probably should, because that's where all our coolest videos of, like, boobs and, you know, supermodels are. No. I put a video on Instagram of a thing that I bought for the Subaru as part of the drift build, and I have brought it to Dave's workshop. Yeah. And here it is. Right, that is the diff spool. Depending on the order in which we edit these videos, you may or may not have seen that already at the same time as I bought a gearbox, which you may or may not have already seen the gearbox as well. But Dave is going to open up the centre diff. So we can see, see he's ready. He's ready for I, safety. I know what those spring clubs do. I know. I played this Should I stand for the back? You might want to shut your eyes at least. Try not to look directly at it. Oh, go away. There she goes. Is that an easy one? That was fine. Should I? Mm. Mm. Don't do any more. So the danger is past. The danger is past. Is it the uh, the percussion method? I was just uh, just a gentle per percussion. I don't see anything else holding on. A lever out, or maybe not through from the other side. That's what I was looking to see if there's any way. A little longer than a few minutes later. My well, David, I see you have assembled your hammers and device of some sort. So, um, well, do you know how to open this? The device is mostly just to set this on the edges. So you can hammer the insides out. Ah, right, right, right. right. So you've rested it on the casing, not yes. on the internals. We're going to show you how to open this thing because we tried to find a video that shows you how and it doesn't exist. There's a video of an hour and a half of some guy replacing one. But never does he show you how to actually open it. And also, the people who are telling you that you can't service this centre diff, liars, the part numbers exist and you can open it and swap out as much as you like. You can even swap it for upgraded parts. So the first bit and easy bit is that spring clip that's on the other side. Okay. Which yeah, and we, I saw you, you open saw that. that so open that. Yeah, so that's easy. So select a uh, punch of appropriate size that fits into those slots. Let me just tip the camera a little bit so you can see. If that's right, in okay. there. Yeah. You f oh, you weld it. And it. F Is that it? And all the bits fall out. Okay. Including the bearings that fell off. They're supposed to be on there. That was there. So, that, so what do you call? Is, did you call that a car? Is that like the cartridge or something? I, I don't do know. I, like? I know they are roller bearings, but it's a well, split. I, I, I know that all of these parts have part numbers. Ta-da! Purchased. They're on the Subaru website. I mean, check. We'll put a link in the bottom. These two weld together into that, weld around the top, and then it becomes one piece. Rear wheel drive only. And the magic of it, the magic of doing it this way, is that you don't have to pop out the front drive shafts. Because that's normally the, yeah, look. We picked a di we picked yeah. a difficult car to try and drift with. That that much we have been told before, and we we recognise that it's difficult. Um, but we're doing it anyway because we want to, and because we want to have something different and it's a bit of a challenge but the magic of this is normally if you want to convert a Subaru to rear wheel drive you have to weld up the rear diff and then pop out the front front drive shafts and weld up the centre diff but by gutting it with a little bit of extra effort weld up the inside then weld up the top plate you can leave the front drive shafts in place they just don't spin because all this gubbins that Dave has removed that's what sends power to the front drive shafts and it's not going to be there anymore so it's just going to spin directly welded to the rear drive shaft. Uh, later on, we may have to take out the front drive shafts if we want to get more lock mods on because I think the front drive shafts foul the steering mechanism when you go into yeah, extreme lock. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And that's the thing. We're just going to, we're going to do this in phases and cross bridges as we come to them. And we'll document the whole thing because I think there are lots of rear wheel drive conversions, but people aren't document the whole thing. So that's open. That bit's a bit. I think we want to separate that further. Okay. Just one. It's empty. Cool. So instead of having gubbins in here that transmits power back to the front, we're just going to have this it's effectively a, a, a completely solid I, I feel that, like lit, just that goes back in. And, oh no, because we need to get rid of that bit, because there's gears. Well, we don't know. We don't know what this came out of. Do with this. Yeah. So this. I just know that it came out of one of the five-speed manual transmissions. Now, um, the five-speed manual transmissions normally didn't come with any limit slip differentials or any. Hell you know but, the STIs all yeah, have those limit but slip. But I don't know what a limited slip differential looks like. Okay. So but that's got lots of individual separate 
plates and that moves, that's... There's a degree to which it spins before it then applies force. But it comes up. <laughs> Unless that's maybe to do with how much... Oh, it's coming apart now. Ugh. Oh! That's... That's ASMR right oh. there, David. And it's fucking honking. Oh, okay. I'm glad you can't smell that. Oh, I'm coming in for a sniff, oh, too. That's... Oh, Ah! Oh, what is that? I don't know. But it's... Well, this is really, really thick and sticky. Sticky thick. I think those might be for the bin when I'm finished. Oh, wow. It's got lots of bits. And then... Like a plate. Oh, God, they're really sticky. God. Yeah. It's, like it's, it's almost like glue. It's that stiff. It's, 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 like, what is that? It's like maybe, maybe don't put that on your bench. Yeah, <laughs> where's the bed? Where, where's the bed? Fucking bed. Because we're not keeping any of this stuff. No, no. We we are basically stripping this so that we can weld it. Oh, so you can weld it. I am welding shit. So, well, yeah. Each one of those discs has got a a bit a spring thing. I'm guessing this is a, an L limited slip differential. Anyway, we don't want any of them. I'm guessing it perhaps was a limited slip <laughs> differential. Was. And what, what we've done is taken an expensive limited slip differential and for the purposes of drifting, we're ruining it. <laughs> if you know what an LSD is and or, or what it looks like, tell us if this is one or not, because that'll satisfy our curiosity. Because it essentially looks like the clutch plates out of a motorcycle clutch. I've never seen one of those either, so I'll have to you've take, got, like, take your word for it. An inside and an outside, and they friction together, and that would give your limited slip dif differential. That's because there's two, there's two discs in each plant. Yeah, I should have actually showed you. Right. Let me see if I can find the separate two. So, one of the discs has got all the teeth on the outside, and one of them's got them all on the inside. So there's a bit of movement in each. Yeah, that's. So one meshes with the drive gear on the inside, one meshes with the drive gear on the outside, so it must be a limit. There's the only thing I can think of is a limited slip differential. Just a, we, just we a bit of... I'm sure we could watch one of those awful engineering explainers. Oh no! No, the, no, no! With the guy no, that hates Subarus. Either. No! Reasons why you shouldn't leave your Subaru in gear! No. Please, end the bam. And my unpopular opinion, that I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of uh, feedback from... I didn't even watch the other guy with RX-8. Wait. 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 Which one? Stuart? No, not <laughs> the English guy. There's remember he bought an R RX8. Oh, the 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 car throttle yes, guy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Well, the short fella. I can't really stand him either. Yeah. No. But he's, he's got an interesting seat. You're the best. He's, part it's of that very scene. interesting. He's just slightly too enthusiastic. But I think he's doing that like high energy thing that YouTube Creator Studio tells yes. you to do. Be energetic. Yes! Be Yeah, like the video series is interesting, the, the RX-8 video, but the interesting part is, Dave's dying because of the stench of the inside of that diff. The interesting thing about that video isn't Alex from Car Throttle. No, it's the content. It's the content and it's the guys who are doing the engine build. Yes. So it was a the rotary, rotary revs. revs guys. Ah! They are tremendous. The final piece has come off. Oh, Dave has found something else. That's Spin camera. Two bits. Again, that, these feel like friction surfaces oh, they're machined oh, they're glue. they're really machined they're proper well this is a 600 pound part david and we are destroying I've, it i've thrown most of it in that bin <laughs> oh, shit. i didn't pay 600 pounds for it but if you want a new one of these from subaru it's 600 pounds is that the bit we have to weld together uh right yes so this this gets a bead weld well i say a bead a massive ton ah, of weld okay. all around that bottom edge so that that top face glues to the well, it's it's not a shaft but uh i don't think there's any more of this to come off so this we, we want that to be a totally fixed rotating unit and then we put it in the top of that and weld around the top and the whole thing becomes a completely fixed rotating oh, unit. Wait, there's an, an oil light bushing or something in here as well that <laughs> we literally just threw the best parts of an, a limited slip differential in the bin <laughs> no it makes me feel bad every time i say it <laughs> it's now in the trash it's absolutely in the trash. So, are, like, if we went and looked up these part numbers, would that tell us if it was, this was an LSD or not? Uh, is it, uh, do you see a part number stamped on it? It's got EZ128. That is not one of the part numbers, I reckon. Okay. The part numbers are like nine digits. Alright. Oh, 
Maybe that's um, just a, fa a factory number. I don't think there's any. No, it's not got any other. I think the part number's probably on the box it came in. Yes, that makes sense. What's wrong with you? I'm going to have to burn these gloves. Is it that filthy? I need new mechanics gloves, anybody, please. Patreon.com slash V Performance. It's already got a hole in the finger. Yeah. And now it smells like it's pee. Poor. It smells like cat pee and dead. It, it's pretty stinky. So that is that. That's the plan. We're now going to weld that diff. Well, Dave's got to weld that diff. Uh, but we will continue to document the process. We'll tell you what we're doing, why we're doing it, and then maybe some other people can learn. Because Subarus are cheap. The parts are plentiful, and the engines are for the most part strong. They're just the four-wheel drive. I think we're going to be able to make this drift well, because it's got tons of power for the money. We just need it all to go to the rear wheel. Because all those BMW 328s and so on, like, their power is like 220 horsepower. Right. And we're going to have 310. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> and that's before we blow up engine number one and buy a faster one. Oh, you're dropping more non essential ah, parts there, Dave. Non essential parts. Oh, these are, all these parts are hardened. Great. That's fun for welding, right? Oh, the best. All the best. Welding's done in hardened steel. Yeah. yeah! Come back next time to see Dave attempting to weld this thing. Yeah. Or there might be another video first. I don't know what order we'll do them in. Anyhow, anyhow thanks for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the build so far. Dave says bye. Dave says he needs new gloves. And uh, subscribe if you want. Or don't. You don't have to. Oh, and let us know in the bottom if that was actually a limited slip differential if I you know. if, I just made or if we just made up the whole thing but it was it was limited it was slippy it had slip i don't know thanks for watching we don't know what we're doing bye